Hey guys, what's going on? It's another episode of Zap Talk. Corey and Dave here. I'm very excited about this week because uh, there's more Star Wars stuff. There's more Star Wars stuff. Plus, you just got a, a, as you call it, a W in the Super Bowl. Yes, I won the Super Bowl. Thank you very much. I'm very happy. I got four now. Yeah, you rooted for the Captain America's <laughs> little star hats. Way to go. Thank you, though. They had some cute costumes that night. But, uh, Katy Perry was probably really impressed. <laughs> so, uh, Star Wars. Going strong. Number two hit, and now we get Darth Vader number one. Yeah. This ties directly into Star Wars. Yeah, it takes place right after episode four. It's the best place for it to be. Because so, if they were like, it takes place between two and three, it's a romance <laughs> about politics. <laughs> Stupid. This is great. This is cool because no one's at Vader. It's got bounty hunters and it's got Jabba. Okay. That's like it's very cool. all I dream of. Yeah. So he shows up, you know, he's on Tatooine. He shows up in the, to see Jabba. And, uh, in his little house. I think Job is a little scared. He looks scared. <laughs> Max Rebo looks scared. That's all that's important. You see that guy? It's my yeah. favorite Blue Elephant themed character. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, Karen Gillan and then uh, Salvatore La Roca is doing the art on this. Very, very cool. And there's very stacks. Cool just like the other one, there's stacks of variant covers, aren't there? He has, you know, you got the standard, the beautiful covers, you know, the regular one. You got the Alex Ross, of course. Yeah. But, you know, Scotty Young, you know, what's the Potasio? Uh, there's a bunch. Yeah, of people. Del Mundo, Campbell. There's a bunch, a bunch of. We'll, we'll we'll start showing them now, but there's a bunch of variants here. You get the sketch covers too, so they're cool. It's really cool. Again, I don't want to hear complaints about variants. You know, just buy the ones you like. If you don't, I'm going to buy them all. I've been buying those the action figure ones. Yes, and this the is the, the Vader one. Those are cool. The best part about those those is that the corner they have the old school like Bradley's Caldor type price tag. Which is really, really neat. If you hear that, Bradley, if you're out there, <laughs> you and your buddy Caldor, so, we're still uh, thinking about Star you. Wars is big, man. And you got the Leia one coming out soon. I'm excited about that. That's yes. Wade, right? Um, I know. I think uh, Connor's doing the art. I don't mm. know if Wade is Wade. I, 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 haven't, I haven't left his solicitations yet. But I think it comes out at the end of the month. Cool. Very cool. Rumor has there's going to be a Lando one hitting. Nice. If they do, our boy Ruben Miranda, who is basically Lando, he works here. He works here. He's the Lando of the yeah, store. The comics, he so. may betray us, but in the end, he's right by us. Yeah. He'll do right by us. Uh, I love Ruben. And then uh, I'm sure they're going to do uh, other ones, you know, with like Boba Fett or the stuff for the new movie. So Star Wars is back. Marvel's treating it right. Thank God. And I love this. This is great. I want Star Wars shelf to be like the Batman shelf. They will. By the end, uh, by the, this time next year, it will. Guarantee yeah. it. Very, very cool. This is an ongoing series, too. Speaking of ongoing stuff, something's going to be ending that that's ongoing fine. for a little while. We also got Amazing Spider-Man number 14. Now, we're not talking about the one with the original one with the first appearance of Green Goblin, which is very, very cool. That's not coming out this week? No. This is the... How will we ever figure out who this Green Goblin guy is? <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man volume 3, number 14, which is the end of Spider-Verse. Oh, okay. I know you're a big fan of this. I know you've been following it. So what does this have to do with the Green Goblin? No, because if you look up Amazing, Spider Amazing Spider-Man 14, it's usually that's a big book. Yeah, Corey, we know. It's first Green Goblin, it's also the first Hulk crossover. That's cool. It's very, very cool. That's cool. Anyways, I know you're you, you're you love this. Yeah. You, Spidey's your guy. This is your book. And what what is uh, Superior doing in here? So apparently, Superior is going to be doing. There's it. a whole prophecy. There's three different key players uh, in the Spider Verse. They got them all together. They're on like bad guy world. Bad stuff's going to happen. They just apparently. Uh, Superior Spider Man is going to do something about it. Uh, is he going to like mess it up, or is he supposed to help it? I haven't read it yet, Corey. Oh, well, you've been yet. following it. Yeah. He messes up everything. Superior okay. Spider Man. All right. So we'll see what cool. happens. Uh, you get a few variants. Um, there's a cool Noto one. Has Gwen Stacy. I like that one. Which everybody loves Gwen Stacy. That's and nice speaking book. of Gwen Stacy, I don't know if you saw the Spider Gwen books are coming out later this month. It's going to have a print run over two hundred thousand. That's insane. It's going to be a huge book. There's a lot of buzz about this book. For something that I don't even know what the print run was for the Spider Verse, but it's nothing, not big. No, nothing like not this big. Stuff. It's gonna be huge. Very, very cool. Um, it's it's February, Valentine's Day. Harley Quinn. You get all the Harley Quinn variants going through DC for the month, but you also get a Harley Quinn uh, Valentine's Day special. This actually looks kind of funny. Yeah, it's good. It might two, be good. It's got two covers: a regular cover and a variant cover. Interesting. We'll see what happens. You know, she uh, wins an auction to go on a date with Bruce Wayne. Oh, so cool. Bruce Wayne has to make sure she doesn't figure out that he's Batman. Because oh. he is Batman, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, Bruce Wayne. Thanks. Spoilers. Thanks, Dave. Thanks. Um, oh, and Walking Dead comes up. This is a, a adorable cover of Carl. The big hole he, in his he face. He no, but he's wearing a muscle shirt, so you can tell he's growing up. It's probably in his Linkin Park uh, drowning pool phase. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, Ugh, Dad! 
I hate, I hate, I hate that character so yeah, much. Yeah, we're well, gonna love this cover. He's got a full muscle shirt, full on hole in his head. I know he looked like the girl from Ghost World <laughs> slash Tina from Bob's Burgers for a little bit, but now he's now he's full on muscle shirt. Oh, thanks. He's I got like some disturbed so records he found. So he's ready to rock and roll now. Rock and roll, Carl. Sorry, guys. You're All welcome, right, guys. we'll see you next week. Uh, thanks everybody on the Zap Comics page for Facebook. We had seven thousand likes. That's a lot of likes. Very cool. I want to hit ten thousand, so we're we're getting close. It feels good to be liked. Very very cool. Thank you everybody, and we will see you at the shop. Bye guys. See ya. What's going? On? <laughs> That's not very appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey guys, how's it? Just getting us into the mood. Okay. We'll just start now. <laughs>